Today, gun legislation moves up in the Florida House and a monumental dedication on campus. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Emmett Clark, and you're watching Spinnaker News. Concealed weapons on campus are becoming more of a reality after House Bill 4001 passed another committee. The bill would allow for concealed weapons permit holders to carry their handguns on campus. The session took place yesterday, and the Higher Education and Workforce Subcommittee passed the bill with a 10-3 vote. The bill was introduced by Florida House Republican Greg Stubbe from Sarasota. The bill will now go to the House Judiciary Committee in the coming weeks. The Sunshine State is one of 19 states that bans carrying on campus, with another 23 states leaving campuses to make that decision for themselves. Check out our website and social media for updates on the story in the coming weeks. A new monument dedicated to Henry David Thoreau broke ground yesterday. Our own James Donlin interviewed students and staff at the event. It was really cool to have everybody come out and it actually ended up being a huge success so I'm very proud and we just want to keep the consciousness going, we want to keep the dialogue and the conversation going on this one. I think um, that civil disobedience and Thoreau in general and all of his work wants to suggest what seems normal is often something we need to really scrutinize. Uh, we see a lot of uh, violence that is going on around the world today. So we need to push for peace, for unity, and uh, for understanding. The throw table joins our other monuments of MLK and Gandhi, who were both inspired by Thoreau's essay. Now let's toss it on over to sports. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Diana Shanks with your Spinnaker Sports Report. We've got a lot of away games this morning, starting with women's volleyball, who brings its regular season away games to a close this weekend with a pair of matches. The team will face NJIT tonight at 7. They also play Lipscomb on Sunday at 3, which is the team to beat because they are tied for first in the A-Sun Conference. UNF's ranking is 18-9 overall and 4-6 in Atlantic Sun. After this weekend, they'll have two home games to wrap up the regular season. The men's soccer team is also playing Lipscomb this weekend. The game will be held tomorrow night at 7 in Hodges Stadium. The swimming team is joining the teams playing this weekend after taking two weeks off. They'll be facing UNC Asheville tomorrow at 11 a.m. Well, that's my sports segment for today. Let's bring it back to Emmett at the desk. Thanks, Diana. Don't forget that the Spinnaker is having a talent design contest. The artistic Osprey that submits the winning design will receive an $85 prize package from Adventure Landing, which includes two Winterfest passes, two passes valid for three attractions, two rounds of mini golf, and 20 token certificates. The design must combine all four departments of the Spinnaker, which are radio, television, unfspinnaker.com, and our print department. Make sure the design is submitted with the standard dimensions of a sheet of paper and submitted via email to digital at unfspinnaker.com or in person at our office in the Student Union by Saturday. Well, that's all we have for you today at Spinnaker News. Make sure you check out our website, unfspinnaker.com. You'll find the most recent stories and a great radio station. Check out our Facebook page as well, where we constantly post updates about campus, and our Instagram and Twitter page, at UNF Spinnaker, for selfies from the crew. For Diana Shanks, I'm Emmett Clark. Be sure to stay tuned for your three-day forecast, and have a great day, UNF.